you are you are representing Rodko since 79. 79. But you met him before. I met Rothko in 60 in 65. Wow, and how was he? Could you describe him? He was uh, <clears throat> oh, for me. <clears throat> I've had laryngitis just from talking too much. <laughs> um, he was very intense. Um, serious, but had a, a funny side to him. Could laugh at himself. Uh -huh. And he was uh, very philosophical and literary. Um, enjoyed showing people the paintings that he had recently made if he wanted them to see them. So this exhibition starts from a story that I had with Mark. I came into the studio one evening after I'd come back from work. In 65? I, what? In 65? Uh, no, this was about, um, this was about, yeah, about six, 65, 67, 66 maybe, 65 or 66. I lived across the street from there. My apartment was directly across from his studio. So I came in one night, I said, hi, can I come in? Which I would do maybe once a month. And he said, sure, come in and we would sit down and we would have a drink and we would talk about painting. And, and there was a beautiful painting on the wall that was dark, dark burgundy and dark blue and rust color. Fantastic painting. And I said, how beautiful it was that I was knocked out by the painting. And Mark said to me, it's funny because I offered this painting to a collector today and she rejected it. Wow. And I said, she must be crazy. And he said, um, she, she said, Mr. Rothko, I don't want a sad painting. I want a happy painting. I want a red painting, a yellow painting, an orange painting. I want a happy painting. And he said, I said to her, red, yellow, and orange, isn't that the color of an inferno? <laughs> so he did have that very funny edge. That was the whole, that was the key for me, that the paintings were not about being red, yellow, and blue, or being burgundy and black. The paintings were about the establishment of heroic mood. And, um, and he could use it in brilliant color, and he could use it also in, in dark color. I mean, as I said to you before, it's, if you want to be very simplistic, a metaphor is the sun is shining, um, it's a beautiful day, then the night is gorgeous and the stars are out and something yeah. very romantic happens. So that's not a depressing night, it might be a much better night than the day.